robot going on through there. No, oh, look at this <laughs> boat right here. Matt D. That thing was dancing. He was walking it all the way through the... podcast with you guys so i've been getting help from comp cart holy crap i can't believe i just said comp cart i know it's bad it's bad that's how bad my weekend's gone <laughs> these guys have been great jim vince and joey have been helping me out trying to get situated on gearing and setup and we've just been banging our heads on what we can do we got miguel and junior fast uh stewart's gotten fast chris gotten fast i'm the only one that's been slow all weekend so i'm i'm usually not this bad guys I got shout out to these guys for all the help and they've been super nice let me take up some of their parking space <laughs> unwillingly <laughs> unwillingly because i parked my big truck said screw it but uh no thanks to you guys nice meeting you nice thanks. Hanging out. yeah nice it's been awesome thanks to everybody so that subscribe and thanks to everybody coming up to the track saying what's up i really do mean come by a tent have a beer with me say what's up makes me uh detached from having such a bad day but Let's get going. Let's get this warm up in. Let's get this final in and see if we can move up. All right, guys, catch you on track. All right, warm up on the way. This is how the best the car has felt all weekend. Um, other than like heat number one, the car felt really fast, really good. Um, this is this felt really great. It was just heavy steering wheel, a little difficult to drive. I had a lot of caster in the car. Uh, but the cart felt great. You know I mean, I was quick. Uh, I should just never mess with the setting after this. And this was a lot of fun. This practice session, we got off track and running with these guys. We, we were like, man, that's the most fun we've had all weekend. Uh, good battling, good racing, uh, back and forth passing. And really, you could pass on this track. It was just finding the right location. Like going to turn 10, you could set it up the inside and make a pass through there. Uh, kind of hard to go two by two just due to this portion of the track if you go wide you're going to go into the gravel or you're going to jump that curb um basically same thing going into like turn one of the last turns hairpins before going to the start finish line uh, that was another good passing zone they could go two by two as well and then the high speed section was kind of hard like right here this is a good passing zone uh, other than that it was pretty difficult to uh, to pass once you got going in the high speed section unless you have more top end this is also a really good passing zone. Uh, turn one and two was good as well. So there was places to pass. The track was real fast, wide, uh, really fun to uh, to race on. So I had a blast for sure. The weekend was cool. Uh, Cup Cart put on a great show. Uh, they they stayed on schedule. Like if it was this time you were going out, this is the time you were going to go out. And sometimes they you know they were if they were moving along, they got ahead of schedule. So that was great. So good job to them. Uh, we finished P17 in this practice. Uh, two tenths was between P7 and P22. That's how close it was. So we're here figuring out what the hell we're going to do for the finals. Practice went well. Uh, between 7th to 22nd, my class was a tenth difference. So I end up 17th, but I'm basically a tenth from 7th. I don't know what that means. Cart, carts are running a lot better, motors pulling like a freight train. Uh, driver needs to wake up and send in the finals like always one final gear change Get good with God and send it <laughs> Ron from BTM engines is here Ball those fellas send it baby. We've had a good time This is racing. Okay, this is it. You have some good days and you have some bad days and we've had a bad weekend But it all can come out in the finals just like uh, fishing, it's better than a day at work. Yeah, that's true. This is way better than work. I know that much. Uh, follow cart chasers. Uh, give a like to Xander. Should be the other way around because so that I guy. Know. I that always guy. get interviewed before Hori all the time. Ocala hooked me up. Like Xander just hooked me up. Yeah. I get interviewed for it. Everybody likes me. You get, Colin, like, you get all the camera. But you know what? Yeah. Call, no, I'm glad they came in. Colin. Shit talker. Bad. Bad shit talker. Yeah, he He's the biggest level. shit talker on the grid. I remember when I did that in, uh, in Orlando and it bit me a couple times. So we're coming for it. <laughs> we are coming. <laughs> All right, here we go to the finals. Um, there was an issue starting out. The 117 couldn't get fired up and get going. And then I was trying to give everybody space um, on the start. Uh, I did not want to get caught up in that turn one accident, turn two accident, turn three accident. I didn't want to get caught up in that first lap accident because you know it's coming. 
It's the finals. Nobody's holding back. Everybody's letting loose. Everybody takes full send mode to a whole new level, like right there. So I picked up a lot of good positions due to a couple issues here and there. Uh, people were running off track. Uh, it was it was basically the gloves were off. We're going for it. It's time to it's time to get at it. Uh, the changes I did did not work on the card, and then uh, we thought that uh, one of our guys uh, we might have gone on tire pressure. I was way too high. Uh, that's why the cart fell off. So I dropped my tire pressure even more than I expected, and tires never came in, ever. Um, then he got off the track and told us he just got tired after lap five. <laughs> so, and we should have known he's racing legends for crying out loud. Thanks, Chris. Um, it was it was it was still a good weekend overall. I learned. You go to these events, and you learn so freaking much. At a national event, you learn. I think a whole season of racing, like six or seven local races in one weekend. You changing it up. You're racing against the best drivers in the world. Um, you're racing against really good drivers. Like, like look at 261. He was able to slide in front of me with that an issue. Uh, two out throughout the race, I did get roughed up a little bit. I was a little heated. Um, it, but that's racing. I was, I was high, and then. I didn't have a, a, work, a drafting partner at all. So I was basically by myself on an island. Uh, it was really depressing when I saw a whole bunch of people pass me over and over and over again, all race. But I learned a lot. I, uh, I definitely was trying to pass back as much as I could. Uh, I was trying to tell them, you know, let's work together. Like, Cause I always say two cars are faster than one, uh, but I couldn't, it, it just never got going. I never, I never got going. I never got hooked up with anybody to go. Um, it was just on me too, cause I had the equipment, I had the power plant, uh, I had all the support in the world, and I kept doing changings and adjusting, and it was just on me. Uh, Mo started in the back. He had a really good run. He had bad luck all weekend, man. He was, they were wrecking him. He was getting wrecked. He was getting sent. It was just a rough weekend overall for him to be honest so uh good job seeing him run up front uh that whole group right there was really quick those three guys so i was trying to hang off the back of them but i just didn't have anything you know stuff happens some weekends you learn some weekends you don't but the weekends that you learn the most are the weekends you get your butt handed to you like this one uh it's not the weekends you go out front and run out and run great don't touch the cart uh have an amazing job uh, right there when I got pushed off track a little bit, I didn't have anywhere to go. So I turned right for him to give me a little bit of space. Um, then I started seeing red and uh, <laughs> I just, I just was just mad. I was pushing, but I didn't give up. Like, you know, I drove as hard as I could. I, I pushed as much as I could. Uh, definitely it was a uh, one heck of a run for sure. Uh, not every everybody was fast this weekend too. It was the whole field was really tight. There might have been like five or six drivers that are just like three tenths, two or three tenths quicker than the rest of the field. But other than that, everybody was running within the tenth of each other. So the whole field was like stupid tight all weekend. It wasn't like oh you know uh, there I get I get shoved out of the way. Um, he's on the he's on my inside. I, I drive pretty hard back on him. So. You know, I got hit a couple times. I was not not happy. Uh, get sent a little wide. And in the end, it's racing. Um, I've done it, but a couple times. But it was it was pretty much every time uh, they saw my orange helmet. I think they just uh, just moved me out of the way. <laughs> it was just overall one of those weekends. Uh, I'm glad the ten did well. Uh, I really felt bad at the beginning of the weekend since we got into an accident and jacked up his uh. This fender, as you can see right there, uh, just saw red. Decided to send it in and uh, make the pass. Hopefully, I could stay in front of him. It didn't really work out because he was able to get back around me again, anyway. So, what can I say? It's just uh, good hard racing. Had a lot of fun. Uh, just you know, Charlotte Motor Speedway, awesome event, awesome track. Uh, thanks to all subscribers. Thank you to everybody who came out and said hey to us. Uh, thanks to everyone that hung out with us. Uh, thanks to JD, 
um, thanks to Stacy, thanks to Jim, Vince, John, or Joey, thanks to everybody that helped out. Um, I want to thank my teammates for an amazing job. Uh, they freaking drove their butts off. The light guys did an amazing job. They ended up finished 20th and 21st out of like 44 plus. Um, Chris did a great job too if he didn't get tired. Stuart did a great job if he didn't just run off track because he felt like it. Uh, it was just an overall great job by the whole team. You know, we never gave up. We always kept fighting. And it was a good, good tune-up for the Nationals, for Newcastle. Because we'll be coming. We'll be ready. We'll be up front. Uh, can't thank everybody else enough. Uh, thanks again to EK Chain. Excellent chains. Uh, and thanks to Target Distributing uh, Distribution for all the help. Thanks, guys. Well, Spring Nationals are in the books. Shit sucked. At least for me. I finished 23rd out of 31. There's only 24 cars still on the track. <laughs> if you guys see the orange helmet, please stop hitting me. Uh, I'm not a traffic cone. Stop grabbing by the exhaust. And then right here on the Miguel's yelling at people how they carry their motors. Light guys hey, finished 21st and 20th out of uh, 40. Uh, uh, 40. Uh, Stewart was up to 25th, then he fell asleep at the wheel, went off track, got into a whole bunch of scuffles and skirmishes. Got er one coming. Everybody hates him. Poor guy. Poor Roy. Roy's mad. Ron? Roy, don't be mad. Ron sent him, man. Ron got sent. Ron is quick. And then Ron got back on track and sent it. Good job, Ron. Chris? He, he pulled the fast lap than I did, but then got tired. Uh, he's never got so fast in his He's never got so fast in his life, his arms got tired. You know what? Uh, you thanks. Know what? It's hard to be on the inside. And thanks to everybody. He gave up four spots because I was out of shoe. You didn't hit the, the gym. You know, it's a, I'm going. That battle. So, overall, thanks for watching, guys. Had yeah, fun. Thanks. Awesome, gym, awesome job. I would be like, Hori pushing up a gym better all the time. Where it happened. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, catch you on track. We're out for the Spring Nationals. <laughs> Hopefully we turn around for the Grands and uh, Newcastle. We'll definitely be up there. Man, what a rough weekend. But this is the weekend you learn the most from. All right? Not when you go out front and win. When you get your butt handed to you. And uh, you learn a lot. Because the speed was there in the morning, but for some reason I just missed the setup. Speed was there, it just uh, just missed it. And then shit happens. So I'll bounce back, we all will. And uh, we're all send it in the end. Thanks for watching guys, take it easy.